G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And it's all happening today here at the lab. Uh, we're getting a 2P SkySmart 1 tracker installed, a 2P SkySmart 2 tracker installed. Uh, that's the tink 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 sing sound you can probably hear in the background. Uh, so the team here are putting up the panels on the already in place uh, SkySmart 1 tracker from Arctec Solar. And the panels are the Longy uh, Solar 435 watt. Half of them are monofacial and half of them are bifacial. Now bifacial is really bringing some interesting challenges to those who need to calculate fault currents within an array and they're covered in a new standard ASNZS 5033 2021 and uh, that's something you'd really want to come and get up to speed with uh, when you're using bifacial modules particularly or if you like to use our software Solar Plus <laughs> it does it for you. But anyway back to the Arctec Solar uh, SkySmart 1 uh, tracker that's being installed here. So a couple of challenges that we had to deal with uh, this you know a slightly sloping site um, but you need to have the top of the piles all at the same height to a very high degree of accuracy. You also have to have them in perfect alignment. So it is quite a precision process and fortunately today with the SkySmart 2 installation we've got OTG, uh, they're installing it with their um, precision equipment, their pile driver and they've brought all the toys with them. They've got their um, testing equipment to make sure that the posts are firmly anchored to the ground as required. They can even pull them out again if they're not right and they've got their rock drill if they strike glory and they've got to split a rock a metre or two down on the ground. Anyway. Let's have a look at the SkySmart 2. So my name is Nick, I work for OTG Energy. Um, we're a large scale solar installation company who do a lot of mechanical work. One of the things that's really quite interesting about the SkySmart 2 is the use of active and passive drives. So the SKU drive behind me is actually powered by solar. It has a AI controller, the same as the other trackers here. The AI controller has a little battery so it can operate independently of solar like at night time. But the SKU drive being active rotates the torque tube and therefore orientates all the panels in the array. But at the either end of this very long, 63 meter long tracker, are some passive drives. Now the passive drives spread the load of the rotational forces on the torque tube. So that's an innovation compared to the SkySmart 1. So pretty excited to see this. And look, we've got the team here from uh, Arctec Solar. So we've got Raja and Pradeep, uh, came all the way from far uh, Western Victoria today. Um, or yesterday actually to complete the job. So thanks a lot Arctec Solar for looking after this project. <laughs> 